Welcome back to Modern Art Blitz. My guest now, one of my favorite painters in LA, and she has been for a long time, Jane Park Wells. Jane, welcome to Modern Art Blitz. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me. I'm, I'm totally happy to have you as a guest. It's an honor and privilege to oh, be here. Oh, geez, oh, geez. Uh -huh. Well, okay, <laughs> before we break our arms, patting ourselves on the back, we have to talk about your art. Now, this piece, it's interesting that you put this piece first. This is a kind of a more recent piece, wouldn't you say? It is, but <clears throat> you know, every artist's work and their uh, life background is so closely related and uh, this one it really reflects where I came from. You know you uh, you were I want to say a formalist but you 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 painted formal abstraction for many years mm -hmm. and and after line shape form color the content was the art and this was really one of the first pieces at least as I was familiar with your work professionally that you put like identity Some, issues into it. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, so is it, and it's, is it biography, autobiography? In a way, <clears throat> uh, when I was at Scripps College, I, the, uh, one of the classes that I took was, uh, and I had an assignment, and it had to be biographical, and you have to make your own canvas. So at that time, I was really missing my mom, and I had a tremendous respect for my mom, uh, so I decided to do something giving tribute to my mom. Ah. So I painted a uh, very, very traditional Korean dance called Gangang Sule. And it's a triptych, and that was uh, giving tribute to my mom and her generation of women in Korea. My mother had an incredible talent, but she never had a chance to bloom. Ah. So this time when I decided to have a show, I cleared with uh, Ruth Bachofner. I said, I want to do some kind of a sequence to that painting. And she said, go for it. Awesome. That's a great to have a supportive dealer like that. Yes. Because a lot of people want to rest on their laurels like, nope, you've always made paintings like this. Keep making paintings like this so we can sell them. But Ruth was very adventurous. She said, go for it. So. Uh, <clears throat> I looked at the old painting, and one thing that I wanted to go back to was uh, newspaper advertisement in Korean newspaper. Uh, so that's the first thing I went to Korean newspaper and looked at ads. And then I noticed that there were so many photos of the woman uh, advertising what they do. Ah. So there's a lot of professionals, and it is just a little. And photos. so these are these are all the photos of them. So these are all the photos that, for I don't know, three months that I ripped from newspaper ads. This is like lawyers, realtors, dentists, and so and then then on top of that, you've got your signature style. Like when I see this, this is Jane Park Wells. You've got this lyrical the, abstraction. Do, doodling, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you've never made like a hard edge geometric abstraction? No. No, you are mm -hmm. about movement. Well, let's, yeah. let's, let's move on and see some more work. Uh, so th that's, that's, that's how. Okay, now. And th th this one, I'm really having fun. This is more recent. Uh, not 2013. Okay, okay. And uh, <clears throat> I always was fascinated the beauty of dying flowers. Oh, wow. Or I would say, not dying, it's kind of a, after the prime. After their prime. prime. So this youth worshiping culture, I thought I would do something with it. Who so, needs the freshest flowers when ones that the, the slight wilt to them, there's more of a drama, a little more interesting uh, and stuff also comes I, out of yeah, it. It's, it's, uh, in fact, uh, I'm not the only one, I think, uh, in, <clears throat> who thought this, you know, uh, at the end of, flowers, uh, I mean, latter oh, stage yes. of flowers are really beautiful. So I've been taking a lot of photographs and uh, I decided to use again as a kind of a collage. So what I really did as a background, I am putting in kind of, it's, it's the abstract, but in the background I am uh, putting images of a kind of very athletic uh, dancing scene. Ah. 
So do you see that three yes, figures? Yes, the, the movements like this, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. I love it. So I was having fun with love that. Well, let's mm -hmm. see what else you brought. You got some good, uh, you know. And, and you're a, and so you're a, you're a painter though. You I'm a are painter. you're in the, so even if there's small collage elements, you it's have nice. you have uh, energy, movement, you're moving the paint around. Mm -hmm. Now this is an older piece. No, this is the This is uh, new? This is the painting that okay. Early since early in my career, I've been painting uh, abstract in abstract forms in series. So this series called the Vine series is the oldest. It, so I started in 1997. This is a new version, a new continuation of the old series. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Wow. But it's different installation. This is just a 40 uh, panel installation. How big, what's the biggest one you've ever done? Uh, 75. 75 panels. Mm -hmm. And each panel is a foot and a half? 15 inch square. Fif okay, 15 mm -hmm. inch square. And uh, oil paint? No, acrylic, acrylic, yeah. You like acrylic better than oil? In fact, I switched it. Uh, Andy Champignon? I Andy Campignon? Campignon. <laughs> I always say. She was very, very helpful early in my career. And she invited me to have a a show in Louisiana Tech, and she said, you can have one big wall. So I was going to bring 100 of those. And, um, and up to that point, I was painting in oil and tr trying to produce 100 of those vines. <laughs> They'd still be drying. <laughs> I had a hard time, so I switched it to uh, acrylic, and wow. I really like it now, using wow. acrylic. Okay. okay, but unfortunately, Katrina hit, we couldn't do that. Oh no. So I ended up sending, I think, 25 of them. Did they get, uh, oh, you could still yeah, do 25, 25 of them. 25, but the sense. You did the show, sense. the show must go on. Right, but they didn't, they didn't, I, like, I couldn't do They didn't float away in Katrina. 100, okay, yeah, okay, 100 pieces. Okay. So, okay, so but, that, but that was, that, so Katrina and you using acrylic paint, same, same time frame. 2005. Wow. Okay, so this is 40 so, panels. That's 40 panels. So that's uh, one, two, three, five by eight. Mm -hmm. Five by eight. Okay, so, so now um, what, what gives you the, the decision to put a particular panel in a particular place? And also, you can move them like this too, right? Right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what, what did you just wake up in the morning and say, nope, the orange one's got to turn, you know, I got to turn the orange one upside I don't down? Know. No. I just I'm just having fun. You're just having fun. Yeah, yeah. Now, once it's on the wall exhibited one way, can can a year later, if a collector buys it, they do. They can just oh, you know what? I think we got to put we got to put. You know what? Get that pink one over there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they can do that. Actually, I have uh, one patron who bought 20 of those paintings, and uh, she told me that she uh, rearranged it twice during. I don't know, cocktail party. Oh, okay. And so you're taking turns and uh, people can just uh, go and just switch around. Just don't spill your drink on it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come back for more. Okay, yeah. well, that's fun, that's yeah. fun. And uh -huh. maybe, maybe you could even have a, uh, would you think there could be a game of a psychological interpretation based on one's choice of putting particular colors or in, in a particular order? Actually, uh, when our kids were in high school, this high school had a wonderful art department and one of the teachers told me that that was very good uh, to use color theory to students oh yeah yeah your pieces yeah the oh pieces. great 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 mm -hmm. so let's see what else you brought and and then <clears throat> I was going to have a show at uh, Ruth Bakafner last April with Robert Kingston Wow so two great painters yeah oh but the gallery closed and gallery closed at the end of March. So was this uh, going to be one of the paintings in the show? Yes. So this is this is new so, work or so new work, and I'm invited to have a show for two weeks at Claremont Graduate School. And you're an alumni. Yes, and I that's exactly the East Gallery. You know which which one oh, that yeah. is. East I know the East Gallery. Yes. Where I had MFA show you had 21 your MFA years show ago. 21. Ooh, mm -hmm. geez. Ooh, time flew on that one. I, I remember know, your MFA yeah. show. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> and this is acrylic. This how, is how, acrylic. Big a, how big a painting are we looking at here? Uh, 42 by 48. Okay, okay. Uh, but this time, uh, since I'm back to school, I thought I would do something different. Ah. So I went back to school. 
<laughs> wow. So this so, is this is for you. This is much more muted. There's not the the, the deline delineation of the line here. But not only much. that, I kind of uh, got off of a grid system that I've been using. So there's no more grid. No more grid. And but this is uh -huh. a square. Still a square. It's not, it's not square. Not exactly 40, a square. Forty-two by forty-eight. Ooh, there's a subtlety there. Yeah. Then. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And then that's just one of six paintings that size, and I have twenty-four by thirty-six. But more than anything, and this one especially, I mean, this show, the title of the show is Hope, Thousand Origami Cranes. Ah. Um, and is, are those origami cranes in there? It's abstracted. Abstracted, it's, uh, okay. Abstracted. <clears throat> I was inspired by the uh, flocks of cranes. Flo Where? Flocks of cranes. Where are the flocks? Oh. If you look at, if you Google, you have a 10,000. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. There aren't any so, out, out in No, no, here. I haven't okay, personally okay, okay. seen uh, the flux. <laughs> okay. But it is a phenomenon in nature that you're yeah. interested in. Okay, great. So, great. Hope Thousand Origami Cranes has a very special meaning. Oh, really? Yes. In, in Asian lore, uh, it means uh, one hope realized. A thousand cranes represent one hope one, realized. One, one, wow. thousand origami cranes. A thousand origami, origami So you, you can sit there and make a thousand origami cranes right, to get that one right. hope realized. Wow. So That's a on lot this, of discipline. This show, I have not only the paintings, recent paintings, I have a 3D work, which I have a 999 origami cranes hanging in a, in a stand. Okay. And then if you are, uh, you know, if you are, if you come to my opening, I invite you to fold your 1,000th. Oh, so you basically did all the work for us and we just got to make one make and 1, our, our dreams come true. You can, you can make a wish, but you know, this wow. basically this has a little political content Ooh. because I had really difficult time last year and a half with the and way the world is headed? Yes. Uh, so I discussed that with a number of art, uh, in the, the people in the arts, and uh, I was kind of uh, told, go for it, you know, go be political. Go for it. So uh, <clears throat> according to Davy Hume, the 18th century Scottish philosopher, oh, yeah. uh, when either a good or evil is not certain, it gives rise to either hope or fear. Oh, yeah. Depending on the degree of one oh, yeah. side or the other. So, so you wanted to do hope I decided, of fear? yes, hope. Wow. So, my hope is in the very near future, we will reclaim democracy. Uh, based on our constitution. Let's hope it's quicker than we, we don't have to wait four fucking years. Woo, hey, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, and are these the cranes? So there's are the cranes. Oh, okay, and there's 999. Okay. That's a 999. You just gotta show up and make one. Huh? When's, when's your show at, at Claremont? Uh, August 29. Oh, what? it's coming up, it's coming up. Yes. All right, yes. all right, I'm excited for you. Jane Park Wells, thank you thank for you joining me. Thank you for being my guest thank on you. Modern Art Blitz. Thank you. All right, a long time friend, I'm, I'm a big fan of Jane's. I was, I'm totally happy to have had you on the show. Thank All right, you. we will be back right after this.